and I could not make it to the gym today. My anxiety starts. I need to start running home, I guess. <laughs> Hello, Hello guys. guys. I'm Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have the first episode of a four part series, oh. so wish us luck with this. Wish yeah. me luck with this. <laughs> True. What do you mean? So, as you can probably tell by the title, this series is all about our girl Maggie right here. And we're helping her with her New Year's resolution, which is to get in shape. Yeah, that's it. Which, if you guys also have the same resolution, you can follow along on Maggie's journey. So, just before we get started, to be clear, we're not saying Maggie's out of shape or that she's gonna all. undergo like a huge body transformation. Like, that's not the point of the series. No, like, I am a healthy weight and I do go to the gym. I have been going to the gym for like a little while. But when I quit cheer, it kind of like, you know, like I don't you just like become less. Go less hard. When you're an athlete in high school, that's like your main form of exercise. Yeah. So when so you like quit, I never went to it's the gym. like, oh, I'm not working out. Shut up. I feel like I even have vibration on. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so now that Maggie's a freshman in college, I think we gotta avoid the freshman 15, which I don't even know. I don't keep track of your weight. So actually, I don't know. fun fact: I learned in college that it's not the freshman 15. The overall study, it's the college 15. Okay. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Same. So we just want to help Maggie build some healthy habits, get in a good workout schedule, and just like help her plan out like some workouts that she can be doing just because she wants to like have a better idea of what to be doing in the gym and just help her reach her goals. If you're wondering, Megan and Sarah aren't experts on this, but we're asking for their help because they do go to the gym yeah, a lot and they do know what they're doing at the gym. I like so, to think I do. It looks like you do, so <laughs> we're just going to pray. So what we're going to do now is help Maggie plan kind of what she should be doing for a workout because I like to plan like for a week what should I do for like when I'm working out. Yeah. So how many days a week do you work out? We're doing it like on camera that stresses yeah. me. Yeah. Should I get my phone write it down? Sure. Remember we want this to be sustainable because I'll say Maggie and I Last semester we worked out three times a week, but this semester I'm trying to do four, but like whatever you think you can do. Okay, I want to do, and like the thing is we can do different types of workouts too. Like if you yeah. did like three hard days, but then like lists on another day, like that'd be. I want to do four Kay. because I try and go to the gym like every day because if you guys don't know, I have like super bad, not super bad, but I have anxiety. So if I don't go to the gym, my anxiety, I'm stressed I out. need to start running home, I guess, <laughs> but but I don't want to have like certain days. I just want to have like four days. You want some Because then I like feel stressed that I have to go. What if we gave you like four options? And then when you get to a gym, like you, when you get to the gym, you could pick what kind of day you want it to be? That's that what I do. Do you like full body or split workouts? I like full body because I get bored when I okay, do split. Okay. full body. What are your biggest goals? Like what do you want to build? Like um, I don't want to have big legs. Okay. I don't know. I don't like... I just want to be too small, not big. <laughs> I have like a fear of going to the gym and getting she bulky. She doesn't, yeah, she texts us all the time. She's like, how can I not get bulky, but I want to work out. <laughs> well, what if I get bulky? That's like, I don't want to be like that. That is a slightly unnecessary fear in my opinion. Okay, no. Every time I go to the gym, my thighs grow. Because when I don't go, I don't have muscle, and then they're just like there. Then I go. Okay. They're like Disregarding inflatables. the science behind that. <laughs> The not science behind that, we're gonna, I would say, like, I can just think to give you, like, different exercises that I like for different parts of Basically, my body. what I'm saying is I don't wanna be, like, heavyweights, I just wanna have, like, lightweights, okay. but lots of reps. We can you do feel that. that. You can do that. We can do that. So, we basically just made, like, a menu almost, and I'm just gonna, like, I love that. A little yeah, menu. A workout <laughs> We're menu. just gonna like choose and try and keep it like... Keep it in. interesting. I think that the good thing about having things that you can choose from is like, even for me when I work out, I used to create like a workout and be like, this is the workout I'm doing tomorrow. And then I'd get there and be like, I don't wanna do that or I don't feel like I can do that. Or, I can't do that many sets. And then I'd be like, yikes, fail. Like today didn't work since I didn't do what I wanted to do. But when I go to the gym and just say like, okay, I'm just gonna do this next and I'm gonna do this next. That's why I think that that's like a good way to make a goal and stick yeah. to it. All right, 
Okay, so for my goals, we're not doing it like based off of weight or anything because I figured out from going to the gym a little bit that weight is like not what you should look at. But since I've quit cheer, I've been gaining weight because I lost all my muscle when I didn't do anything last summer. And then muscle weighs more than fat, so basically though, to put it into, into perspective of weight, I am just going to say I weighed... 137 pounds when I was doing cheer, when I was an all-star cheerleader. Oh, let's see how much fat I have. Is it worth a five? like 130 131 so yeah that's like all muscle but and the, like I grew I grew an inch that's kind of scary wow <laughs> I like grew an inch but still lost that much I lost a lot of muscle that's sad anyway so we're going to track my progress or whatever not based off of weight we're just gonna not even look at that because that just stresses me out makes me not want to go to the gym so we're gonna work on focus on body fat and muscle mass. Okay, so to put in perspective, into perspective again, when I was cheering, my muscle mass was 61.1 and my body fat was 19.9. And now my muscle mass is 55.6 and my percent body fat is 22.9. Also, this machine is at my gym at home, so I'm like only going to do it at the beginning and at the end. I mean, I don't really think it's going to change a whole lot. Body fat for like girls is like way higher than guys. <laughs> Just figured that out. Not really. But like, you don't want your body fat to be zero. Like, that's impossible. Just so. a side note, before Maggie knew any of this, she took this test and she was like, I'm going to get my body fat to like 13, which if you don't know, is about baseline body fat. Yeah, so, so I'm, don't do that. I'm just going to look up right now, body fat for girls. So athletes are 14 to 20 and fitness is 21 to 24. So I'm in like fitness. That's good. So, hmm. Should we try and get to athletes? Yeah. What should we try and get to? 20? 19? Should we try and get to 19 where I was? Get back to your cheer. Okay. Cheer days. So we're going to try and get back to 19.9. So we're going to try and get back down to that. And also we're just going to focus on mainly like working out and stuff. But I'm going to try and eat healthy. Not like a strict diet or anything. Just like not Diets make. Dumb. Diets just make you feel bad about yourself. Yeah. So we're just going to try and eat healthier and cleaner. And drink lots of water. All right, guys, so it's Sunday of the first week of working out, and I am really sick, and I could not make it to the gym today, so I did not meet my gym goals this week, and I'm really, actually, really mad about it. So next week, starting tomorrow, I'm taking no days off, hopefully. And I'm going to go super hard because I don't think I've been going hard enough. And it's really bothering me because the gym here is just not like my gym at home. At the gym at college is not like the gym at home. And so, like, I just can't get as much as much out of it as I feel. But we're going to try and work on that. So, yeah. Today is Tuesday, the second week. And I just want to call this the first week because last week I did so bad. I went to the gym, but it was just not hard workouts not good workouts did not was not happy but anyway so this week we we're going really hard I didn't really record anything today because I was by myself and I was like really focused um but I did a lot I did like everything of my body except my arms and my arms is where I have the most fat so that was bad but yeah it was a good workout So we are going to go to the gym. Then we got 
to the bus stop and it's like if the wind chill is negative seven did you know that no it's negative seven and then the bus came and it was full so we had to wait another bus and if we waited out there it would have been 20 minutes of waiting so we're not going to the gym today holy nuts i can't feel my we'll cheeks tomorrow, though. yeah we're going tomorrow Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, no matter what, because this is going to take a lot of time and effort, but, you know, it's for a good cause of my body. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you comment down below your New Year's resolutions, because mine was to get in shape, so that's what we're doing. And come back next Friday to see episode two, and yeah, we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.